not, sometimes when I open the reboiler steam condensate outlet valve, the reboiler duty decreases. What causes this? Well, the problem is there's a balance between blowing the condensate seal and subcooling the condensate through the condensate backup. We have this valve, and the ordinary expectation is opening this valve will lower the water or steam condensate level on the tube side, on the channel head side of the reboiler, which will drain the water down further in the channel head, which will expose more tubes to the condensing steam. And that will, of course, increase the reboiler duty up to a point. And that point is when you blow the condensate seal, which simply means the liquid level in the channel head, which you cannot see, is lost, and the steam and condensate blow out together. And whereas high velocity aids sensible heat transfer, apparently, high velocity retards latent heat transfer. And as the steam blows through the tubes and blows the condensate seal out, well, the heat transfer rate is going to go down and the reboiler duty will go down. Thus, we're left with this problem. How does the operator know how much to open the condensate drain valve to maximize the reboiler duty? And the way I do it is I simply look at the reboiler shell side outlet temperature at T1 and I adjust this control valve to try to maximize the temperature on the process side on the outlet of the reboiler. If you open up this valve too much and you blow the condensate seal, this temperature is going to go down. On the other hand, if you close the valve too much and promote condensate back up and subcooling the condensate, this valve, closing this valve will also cause this temperature to drop. So the operator adjusts the condensate drain valve to maximize the reboiler shell side outlet temperature.